Not awesome at the Harlem Shake. Awesome at t-shirts. Bigflamingpile.com. Welcome back to the week thus far, everybody. Thank you once again for joining us. After that lovely break, John Wilson cooked a pizza, and man, was it good. Mm -hmm. Just saying. Our guest tonight is a very funny man. You may recognize him from being on television since the day you were born. He's also a fantastic stand-up comedian. Give it up for John Youngberg! Hey, Johnny! Hey, what's up, Johnny? Johnny! Hey, there, pal. I don't know if you're going to say that's hot. No, yeah. no, we're going to go like that. Get her in there. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Wow. Good to see you again. This is, uh, may I sit? Yeah. Good. Oh, yes. You're allowed. Oh, this is lovely. Uh, actually, you should probably stay in the whole time. Yeah, I was going to think We about have it. a wooden chair if you prefer. No, that's, yeah. uh, no, that's, no, I'm fine. Actually, it looks thanks like. For, thanks for having me come out. Yes. Yeah. We thought we'd have you on because it's... Why am I so low? Well, the couch is a little bit used, <laughs> one might say. I, I made a little groove there for you. You made a groove. Yeah. A butt groove. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent. You're in my butt groove. John butt groove. Uh, that's good. When Only we got here, we John. said... Shut up, John. <laughs> All right, now... <laughs> Two Johns don't make a right. That's Bam. right. I'm sure. All right, okay. <laughs> hey, happy Earth Day! Oh! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah, very Earth excited. Day. Very excited. The no, forgotten really. holiday. The biggest holiday of my entire That's great. Day. What'd you do to celebrate Earth Day, John? I pretty much unloaded an entire box of Aquanet into the air. <laughs> oh. Sat in my backyard, to totally, uh, you know, just case of beer and Aquanet. Just spraying spraying up, Aquanet there, into the air. Yeah, global warming. I want to golf. So I'm trying to <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to do my part, man. Well, we, we set up a whole bunch of cameras and lights, you know, we thought we'd do our part, Yeah, right? that's good, sucking the energy, perfect. To be yeah. fair, though, I mean, people say global warming is making things melt too fast. We've had a weird, weird winter so far. It's been a really long one. Yeah. Earth Day today, I tried to help everyone out. I let my van idle for about four hours awesome. trying to mm -hmm. melt awesome. the snow in front of my that's house with the, the exhaust. That's pretty cool. Yeah. 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 You know what's good about this time of year, because it's melting slowly. Uh, I have a dog, an 80-pound sheepdog, and uh, she, uh, I, I'm starting to see different layers of her, her creativity. Uh, That's so, creative. Yeah, oh, cool. Like, like, oh, wow, you, you have an active colon. Uh, so <laughs> that's, that's what I do. And you know what's cool? If it's still cold, like really cold, I take out my five iron and chip it into my neighbor's yard. <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny about that is he's got this tiny little beagle, but I get this huge dog. So he's out there going, where is this coming from? <laughs> so it was like this four pound log, you know, just launched into his deck and uh, he's kicking his dog and you know, a little bit. He's picking up things that are the same size as his That's wiener right, dog. Dan. That is yeah, disgusting. Yeah, it's awful. Ugh. Yep. So you like golf, eh? <laughs> yes, I do, Dan. Unfortunately, I don't know anything about golf. So, John. Yes. Yeah. You. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be doing that all night. <laughs> Take it. What? You will be John and Jan. Okay. How's that sound? Actually, you're more Swedish than this, John, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm so Swedish. you'll be Jan. How's yeah, that sound? Yeah, yeah. I'm a Swedish Bostonian. Jan Youngberg. Yeah. So yes. ask me the question then. <laughs> You're a dick, John. That's what you are. <laughs> which John? Which John's a dick? Oh my God! Do both Johns have dicks? Probably. Well, uh, All right. One, one of my ex-wives has it in a jar somewhere. Hi yo. <laughs> Hi yo. Oh no, zing. <laughs> All right, John Youngberg. What? Uh, like I said, you have been on television. Um, you've been you've been doing it. Everyone knows you for as the face of morning television in uh, yeah, this city. Yeah, years on breakfast television. That's right. right. But before that, you were a stand-up comedian. Well, I still am, Dan. And you still are. Yeah, I just don't do, I, I just don't do the club circuit anymore. I do corporate right. events. Yeah, I started out oh, about 25 years ago and uh, at a, a small club in Boston called Snickers, and I bombed horribly. And so I, I gave it up, and then, I don't know, I get, I get, it was that time in your life when you're, you're brain damaged for quite a long time uh, for Youth. various reasons. Yeah. I can't remember when I lived where, um, but then I moved to LA and. Uh, you wait, I, you don't remember where you lived well, for that period of time? <laughs> All right, Is I, that grew, what you're I saying? grew up in Boston, but. Right. I, I can't remember if I lived in Atlantic City before LA or LA before Atlantic City. <laughs> I really don't remember. Okay. Um, um, so, anyways, uh, so I'm in LA. And there's a club called Dimples, which was the very first karaoke bar in North America. Sounds like a golf bar. No, it, yes, it does. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I saw it on this show on, on the History Channel. 
called Bar Rescue. You ever seen that? That's a great oh, show. Yeah. Where they take these dilapidated bars, and so that I saw it as his dimples. Like that's where I started my career. <laughs> this dilapidated <laughs> bar, yeah. um, and uh, and then I, I ended up marrying a. Uh, uh, I was hired to perform at the U of W, eighty three. No, U, U of M, eighty three, and I met my future wife, and and uh, eventually, uh, I, you know, we got married, and I moved here. Um, and, from uh, Mystery City? From Boston. Okay. And then, uh, you know, started a family. I, my kids are all grown up now, but, uh, and then uh, uh, I, I, I toured extensively through that time. I right. Wasn't, I wasn't home much. And uh, I was on the road constantly. I, and, and I opened for Celine Dion and Tom Jones. I, I didn't know she was a comedian. No, she's not. <laughs> That's the thing. When you open for, you want to open for Celine Dion, I'm like, sure. People aren't there to see the comedian. <laughs> there are all these people like, you know, on salon. You know, it's like, <laughs> shut up, Frenchie. <laughs> and uh, so, but Salon, uh, Salon. Celine, we were playing with Salon. <laughs> to tell you where she was in her career, she was playing the Walker Theater. Oh. When I, when I opened for her. Yeah. And then, uh, I, I, you know, did the whole Vegas stint and, uh, 38 states, three How countries. How was Vegas? I did 15 shows in five days. Holy crap. Yeah, That's yeah. Vegas style. Yeah, that is a, crazy. Very, and Steve Sharippa, who later went on to be on The Sopranos. Right. Right? He uh, is, was the booker of the entertainment. And uh, the very first night, part of my job uh, as the new guy was to sell the merch. You know? <laughs> so after the show, I would have yeah. to go out there and hawk t-shirts and whatever. And I get this phone call, 7 a.m in Las Vegas from uh, Steve Sharippa, who... Uh, scary uh, man. Scary man. Yeah. He goes, Mr. Youngberg. Yes. He goes, uh, your sales were a bit low last night. Your stay in Vegas is going to be very short if they don't pick up. Click. <laughs> <laughs> Was he going to kill you? I know. <laughs> we don't so, care so, about your material. So, Sell some shirts. <laughs> so I started crying. And, uh, <laughs> you know, and, and I got, you know, a hooker and everything was fine. But... Uh, then, uh, <laughs> Oh, there I are many there. Yeah. Never paid for it. Um, did you buy a shirt? I bought the shirt. <laughs> just did she I buy a shirt? Because I wanted me time. Oh, so yeah. I, 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 I got the shirt. <laughs> me time's um, what, important. Yeah. What? Yeah. And me then, time's and then, very important. Uh, then I got breakfast television, of course, and did that for 11 years. Then I got divorced, and then I married another Canadian girl, and that lasted six years. And we got. I think I keep marrying Canadians because the exchange and the alimony. <laughs> I'm making out pretty good. You know, you know, it's not as bad as Take space. what you want. Yeah. Your currency's weak. <laughs> yeah, and I... I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> and, and now I still do it. I do corporate... Corporate events, yeah. like the you know after you go to these events, and they have a comedian. And that's the evolution that as a comedian you eventually want to get to those big shows. Yeah, but I'm 52, and I and not 52. I'm 50 also, and I don't want to be sitting in a car for eight hours driving from gig to gig. Yeah. You know anymore? I don't want to do the tours. I don't want to do that stuff. Those um, are good times, though. Those are good times for me what? time. You know, I have a very good point. People ask why Canadian comedians are so much funnier than American comedians is because our our cities are so far apart. <laughs> you have that much time to work on material. Like you, I'm in Prince Albert tonight. But I'm in uh, Kelowna tomorrow night, you know, <laughs> and so you got all that time. Interesting story about one of our cast members. Yes. Uh, he was Daniel. on. He was well. Pay uh, attention, Johnny. He was. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, is that your no, 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 I got it. Don't you nice. fight with him. This is very nice. It's a very nice tie. It it's is. Yeah. Actually, really if you look at that, that's a nice tie. Go ahead. Nice Sorry, we're, all right. we're ignoring the host. All I'm going to say is the drives are long. I know this. Uh, not I. Someone else. Oh, well, uh, now here we are, and the guy on the cast told me that one time he was driving to a show. Yes. Just giving her on the pipes, yep. and a guy and a woman drove by in a Corvette, and he became so sad he could not continue. What? Talking about masturbation. You know what? Forget it, John. Uh, Thank you very much for coming out. We've unfortunately run you know out of worse, time. What's worse is when you see a guy drive by in a Corvette and a head pop up and wave and go, yeah, yeah so that, that, that totally is depressing. And then you're, you're like, like sitting there with a, like a, a bag of cheesies. And, um, I'm on the way to do a show for to free do, beer. Yeah, to do a show in, you know, in China. <laughs> Oh, God, I've had some bad... What's the worst show you ever did? Worst show I ever did was at a strip club in town. Uh, we used to host at the strip club. Right. And I won't say the name, but one time I came out there, there was two people in the audience, and I said, hey, I bet you guys wish there were strippers here, and one of them did this to me. <laughs> So, that's 
on the Murder menu. was on the menu. Uh, <laughs> anyway, we were all out of time, John. Thanks for coming. We were out of time. Tim's making hand signals, Andy. Oh, jeez, Louise. All right, Mr. Fine. Eric Clapton. I'll come hey, back. I'll come back. Right. John, you, you, will John, back. you will come back. John, you will always come back because John. See you yeah. later. Always comes I'm back. I'm sit right here all night. <laughs> no, I'm not moving. Don't move. Don't move. I'm yeah. comfy. Any you know change? what, Tim? Is there change? You know what you just did here? You hurt John's feelings. I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. man. Both Johns. I'm so sorry. Both Johns. You hurt two Johns tonight. It <laughs> <laughs> sounds like he's on a male hooker or something. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna... one of them can walk right now, and one has a very bad rash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back with Bros, Bros Landry. <laughs> oh, man. For a taste of royalty, head to 120 King Street. Just look at that wood. Week thus far tapes at the King's Head Pub every Monday live at 8 p.m.